guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Sonia and I'm so glad you made it to my channel. Today I am participating in a open invite, a collaboration done by Yami uh, Latina Next Door and Ashley from Ashley Lauren. And in this video, um, well as the title says, look for less challenge, we're supposed to recreate something expensive that we had found either online or in the store, which I will link it right now. Um, this is the piece that I have uh, saw at HomeSense, so I have taken the picture and here is the price in the corner. And I have decided to recreate uh, this piece since I have um, always wanted to use uh, pictures to display them in, uh, in a window. I have a couple decorative windows, but I'm using them for other things, so I thought this would be perfect to display my pictures so come along and after the video is done if you have enjoyed it and you liked it i would love for you to stick around i post all sorts of videos on uh, diy lifestyle home decor but everything home and family related um, with heavily into DIY. I also love to restore furniture uh, with chalk paint or staining it or uh, really any upcycling type of furniture videos. So I would love for you to join me by pressing the subscribe button and liking this video. So thank you so much and um, I hope you enjoy this video. So for this project, I am using six of these five by seven picture frames that I have picked up for $1.25 from the Dollar Tree and I am using this um, piece of wood that I picked up at Lowe's for $3.75 and then glue and glue sticks and some white acrylic paint and brown acrylic paint and a paintbrush and a measuring tape to measure out the wood. I also might use these um, craft sticks for extra support, but I'm not 100% sure if I will. So the first thing that I did was measure out these and cut them out so they fit three across and two up the picture frames and just made sure that uh, all of them fit before I started cutting them out because sometimes you know you cut them out you measure twice and still don't measure it right so then I hot glue them together and make a frame once it's uh, glued on good uh, I take the packaging off the frames and I remove everything I remove the little metal tanks that hold down the backing off, I removed the glass, like literally everything. And I repeat this process for all of them. Then I start hot gluing them. My glue is really, really hot. As you can see, it's kind of smoking as I'm applying it to the frames. Um, I've burned myself several times with this hot glue, so um, I'm being very careful not to burn myself again. So I um, hot glue the picture frames all around. Um, I do struggle a little bit, as you will see, um, because some reason they fit fine when I was trying them out but then when I was started gluing them it was a little bit of a tighter fit uh, but um, I ended up making it work anyways uh, this last piece ended up breaking a bit on me uh, while I was trying to wiggle it in but uh, I ended up just hot gluing it back together because it didn't really matter that it broke as long as it held its shape and form it was fine because uh, I was painting over it anyways so you wouldn't see the break. Once I was satisfied with uh, how they fit and they were all nice and tight because you want it to be fairly tight so you don't have too many gaps, 
I painted it with the acrylic white. I just gave it two coats. I didn't really care if uh, stuff was showing through, like the gold, because <coughs> I, excuse me, I like the kind of a distressed look. So I just left the parts that um, were showing through to show through a bit. And then once the white paint was dried, I ended up just dry brushing the brown acrylic paint. And some, uh, some areas I went heavier, some areas I went lighter. Because uh, just to give it um, that distress look. I know I could have used my chalk paint and the wax, but I feel like all my projects, that's the way I go. And not everybody has access to all the chalk paints and everything. And this was definitely a much cheaper way to do it than actually using wax um, and chalk paint. So I just, like I said, I apply, take off, apply, take off. And then once I was kind of satisfied with the, the way the brown was looking, I ended up using a sanding block and kind of sanding out all the areas where I found that it was a little bit heavier on the brown paint, which I will show you in a minute on the video. Once I was done with the paint I, and the paint had a chance to dry, I flipped it over and now is the time to glue the glass and I just put a little bit of dots of glue in each corner and I glued the glass on. Um, I will be put, when I put pictures in, I will be actually just using a little bit of clear tape or glue dots, clear glue dots to attach the pictures to, to the uh, frames because I want the back to be clear. I don't, don't want to, uh, pictures to have a backing. So I repeat this process for all the frames. As you saw at the beginning of the video, the cost of this uh, picture window picture frame was $29.99 and my project cost me $11.25 and I think it turned out pretty close to the original which um, as you can see mine was the first picture and the original was the second picture. So thank you so much for watching. The playlist for everybody is going to be linked down below in my description box, as well as a link to Yami, the Latina next door, and Ashley from Ashley Lauren. And I will um, see you next time. Thanks for watching.